Hello everyone and welcome to Cliffhanger, an arcade-style 2D beat-em-up released for the PC. This is us, we are Mizuki, I believe, though I could be entirely wrong, and we are very heavy, presumably due to these heavy chains we have attached to our arm. Whacking goons with these chains is our main method of attack, and we perform different attacks depending on how close we are to them. And since we have a somewhat limited moveset, one of the most important mechanics is juggling, which we can use to keep large numbers of enemies entirely incapacitated. Basically, we have to use our chain's length and its ability to easily juggle enemies to make up for the fact that we aren't exactly agile. And that was our projectile attack, which deals much more damage than our normal attacks, but it takes longer to use, making it potentially dangerous. You know what, we've talked a whole lot about what we can do, let's talk about all this other craziness going on around here. The game takes place on several planes, both in a literal sense and in the sense that there are several planes of movement. This means a lot of things for the game design, one of them being that we have to keep track of where we are at all times, because while we have to be really close to an enemy to hit them, well, they have guns, and their guns can shoot through as many planes as they want. And I'm sure you've noticed that the red planes just disappear after a bit, so we can get dropped somewhere we really don't want to be, or enemies can get dropped on us. Wait for it. Yeah, so when this happens, you want to find an opening to use your projectile as immediately as possible, because it clears off a lot of enemies in one shot. So yeah, we've established that keeping aware of your surroundings and moving around is pretty important, since the enemies don't have to come to you as was evidenced by me getting shot in the back of the head just now. Another tactic is to use your juggle to move the enemies up a plane, which I tried to do just now, but that didn't quite work out. You may have noticed that I've not been using very many jump attacks, and there's a reason for that. Jump attacks can be an easy way to close distance and get some quick hits in, but these big guys swing those giant balls around their heads, which makes it impossible to jump near them. They can also hit you while you're not jumping if the plane is tilted at just the right angle. We went out of our way to get that blue guy because while most of these enemies just shoot single shots, the blue guy fires a rocket. We can knock the rocket out of the air with our chains, but if it hits us, it deals massive damage. Anyway, back to the planes tilting. The way they tilt can make it very hard to use your projectile, as the projectile only fires in one solid direction. Though sometimes the plane tilts in your favor, and you can use it to take out more enemies than normal. So I've spoken a lot about the game's overarching design, but something this level in particular teaches us is that we want to get as close to guys with projectiles as possible. After all, the effectiveness of their guns mainly relies on their distance from us, and if we get to them first, they can't hit us. I just want you to keep in mind that's what this uh, first level's design taught us as we deal with these last few enemies. So I have no idea what this guy's name is, but we have to hit him, and his thing much like all of his goons is guns. So like the level taught us, we want to stay reasonably close to him, but... He really doesn't like being backed into corners, or he does that. The best strategy here is just to get a few hits in, back off, and then run toward him again. As you've seen though, he can dash right through us to get to a better position to use his projectiles. Like that. Easy enough to dodge though. Now if we decide to be incredibly rude and hit him while he's down, he enters an unbreakable combo. So as tempting as it may be to juggle him like our normal enemies, that's not the way to go. Which is apparently why I did it again? I'm not sure what I was doing there. And a third time, why not? He's almost done anyway, so it's not like we're in too much trouble. So yeah, this guy is really, really easy if you've been paying attention to the design of the first stage.
And I think that's about it for Cliffhanger. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon.